<laughs> okay, Psalms 5 is where we're at today. Amen. I don't mind telling you, this is more work. Yes, it is, <laughs> Psalms and 1 John. <laughs> it's a lot more work. But, you know, by the grace of God, we'll get it done. And, of course, we'll have to split a lot of them up, I'm sure, as we get yeah. into them. And they get longer and longer and longer and longer. <laughs> but, uh, Psalms 5. All right, here we go. So let's all stand our respective word of God. And we'll read these 12 verses, 12 like the number of Israel. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Meditation is a key word here. Mm -hmm. And so, since uh, we see that word meditation, then we got to think back kind of like Psalm 1 and Psalms 2. See, because yes, that's what uh, they were associated with as well. Mm -hmm. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, O King, and my God. For unto thee will I pray, my voice shalt thou hear in the morning. Mm -hmm. O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. Yes. <laughs> yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. Mm -hmm. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Mm -hmm. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face, mm -hmm. for there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulcher. They flatter with their tongue. Mm -hmm. Destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by th their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. For they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy. Because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful. Mm -hmm. In thee, for thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield. Amen. Amen. All right, let's pray. Father, thank you for these great truths. Mm -hmm. and Thank you for how much they seem to correlate with our study of uh, 1 John. Mm -hmm. And in Jesus' name we thank you. And amen. 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 So... How to deal with lies and slander. Certainly, uh, you know, I like to point out to people that as we go through these psalms, uh, David was very familiar with his enemies lying about him and uh, telling lies about him. And, and, and so we can take comfort in all these words uh, David says because... What should you do when you hear somebody telling lies about you? Mm -hmm. Somebody running their mouth and telling other people and lying about you? Well, number one, you should believe them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stop and take inventory. Because right. 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 couldn't you be that goofball, screwball? Yes. And could there be some truth to it? Yes. I mean, you have done, made your share of mistakes in the past, haven't you? Yes, sir. I mean, I know I sure have, and I am to this moment very embarrassed over them all, though yes. I know they're under the blood. That's true, bro. But... Uh, certainly you should own anything that could be said about you that could be true. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen? Yes. Because you'll be better off for it. <laughs> That's right. You know, you're not, you know, God's gift to the world. Amen, brother. Uh, Amen. You know, let God be true and every man a liar. Yes. And Amen. so... The foundation of God standeth here. The Lord knows them that are His. Right. So here's a nice little chart. I thought this kind of is good because, you know, it's just showing you how, okay, there's Satan's kingdom and God's kingdom. Yes, sir. So which side are you working for? You know, there's the truth and there's the lie. Mm -hmm. 
then Satan's kingdom is nothing but counterfeits, of course. And you got the upside down star there with the goat head, of course. Mm -hmm. And there's demonic sanctification. There's a progression towards mystery Babylon. They want to have some kind of utopian world, like it says at the bottom, salvation through works mm -hmm. to forge an earthly utopian kingdom, and that's what they're working for. You know, it's like the it's like the new world order. You know, mm -hmm. Santa Claus. Uh, what's that guy's name? Klaus. Klaus Schwab. That's it, Schwab. <laughs> I mean, you talk about. <laughs> an evil villain out of a James Bond movie, you know, he fits right. so well. Right. Uh, this guy somehow thinks he's God's gift to the world. Of course, it's such a joke because mm -hmm. who elected him, you know? Mm -hmm. And yet the representatives we have elected, they don't seem to be standing for our rights, Not what we believe. They want to backbite and send billions of our dollars to a lost cause like Ukraine. and. Then Ukraine's had all kinds of Israelis in there helping them with their intelligence and helping fight the war for the Ukrainians. Israel and Ukraine have been in bed together. Mm -hmm. So now we got to support all of them. And it's just wickedness. Yes, the right. largest sodomite population of any city in the world is in Jerusalem. That's right, bro. Amen. Because the government favors mm -hmm. that group. Mm -hmm. wow. And they fly the pride flag just mm -hmm. like Rome and Kiev do. Mm -hmm. So... Believe me, there's an agenda, and Satan's got his plan, and he thinks he's going to bring it to fruition out in the open because he's got his son ready to take the stage. Mm -hmm. And, of course, everybody's getting prepared to take the name, number, and mark in their right hand and forehead. We are at the door. Mm -hmm. You can't deny that. Of course, we're awake. We know these things. I know I'm preaching to the choir. Mm -hmm. But, see, God, he, he requires discipleship. Yeah. Uh, you got to be born again. You got to have the Holy Ghost of God in your life. You have a recognition of your sin and Christ suffering for you, and that God's the ultimate Savior. And there's the gospel message, and it's supposed to be Bible based. We, we base all of our beliefs on Bible doctrine. Yes, sir. And the ends constrains the means. Amen. Mm -hmm. Salvation through grace. To enter and expand the spiritual kingdom of Christ. And that's what we're all about. We know where we're headed in this world. We know we're headed for Armageddon just as fast as they can get there. Mm -hmm. And that's why we need to keep reminding everybody like I like to do when I watch these videos on YouTube and stuff. And I get my chance to make my comments. I hope you do too. Mm -hmm. Just like I hope you click click on Gateway Anna Baptist Church. Yeah. And give a thumbs up to our yeah. sermons and our teachings on Sunday at our church here. But the point is, we quickly want to comment on everybody's sites as they're worried about the big war. The Bible teaches there will be the last war, but the last war will be fought on horseback. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they can brag about their missiles and bombs yes, and high-tech crap, but in the end, there'll be enough EMPs and that go off that nobody's going to have anything electric, mm -hmm. and the last war will be fought on horseback and with swords. And with spears. That's what it says. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun to be so more far advanced above mm -hmm. the average genius on the internet. <laughs> because we've got a Bible. And we believe the Bible. Yes, sir. Because it's an inspired Bible. Amen. Amen. Because God knows the end from the beginning. But he's interested in our holy sanctification. God's working on us. He's helping yeah. us be everything we're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. oh, one more button. There it is. All right, so number one, turn to the Lord for help. Amen? Amen. Don't call the psychologist or psychiatrist or the counselor. No, turn to the Lord yes. for your help. Amen? Mm -hmm. Like we read in Psalm 1, Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Keep taking delight in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Amen. Like Paul's going to tell you, you know, the battle's in the mind. Yes. And so whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just report, you know, uh, whatsoever things are pure, mm -hmm. just whatsoever things are lovely, 
uh, the, think on these things, Paul says. Yeah. Yeah. See. Mm -hmm. So ask Him to hear your words, your sighing, your cry for help. Submit to the Lord as your King and God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seek God in the morning. You know, He said that twice. Isn't that interesting how He said it? Usually God says something twice because He's trying to get it through somebody's thick noggin. Mm -hmm. It's not that God stutters. Mm -hmm. He has no reason to say it twice. But yet He's saying it for our benefit that we get it. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare just jump up out of bed and get to run in and throw your clothes on and get out that door. You better slow down and pray first. Yeah. You know? Maybe he's prayed before you can get out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> you might not make it far enough to put your shoes on. Yeah. You know, first thing in the morning, David said, amen. I know I need to do some praying, amen. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray. Yeah. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning. O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and I will, uh, and will look up. Yes, sir. Now, hallelujah. Yes, sir. Look up. We got every reason to keep looking up. Mm -hmm. Not looking down. Amen. But looking up. Mm -hmm. Looking up. Because things are happening. The Lord's coming back. Mm -hmm. You know. And so... Like the song Joy sings, uh, lift up your head. Redemption draweth nigh. Amen? Amen. Amen. And so, my voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and I, or and, will look up. So, he said there, Lay your request before him. Wait in expectation, number two. We see confess God's holiness, amen? And then he gives us five facts about the Lord, amen, and his holiness. Thank God. Thank God he's a holy God. Amen. That's why then we need to come through him, come to him, amen, in Jesus' name. Everything is in Jesus' name. Mm For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. You know, there's a lot of people that misrepresent Jesus. I know something came across my phone this week. My algorithm was helping me. And it was, uh, there's some clown thinks he's some kind of scholar, Bart Ehrman or something. And he's got some title, some new book he came out with called Evil Jesus. Mm. No, no, Jesus has no association with evil. Amen. These guys want to totally misrepresent the New Testament, say it teaches a different Jesus than the original Jesus, and our Bible's been corrupted by, this is what they want you to believe, so you believe in them as scholars, yes, see, right. and their latest discoveries and their latest mm -hmm. ideas, and it's just so polluted. Again, Brother Letus, uh, I was listening to him talk about that on my way here today. But uh, it's just these, these quote-unquote scholars are just so evil. They're just wicked men with a degree. Not even saved. Have no love for the Lord. So I love that this is a slide I've used before, but I like that uh, we're pointing toward the light, but we've got five fingers because we've got five facts. Amen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so he takes no pleasure in evil. Amen? Amen. <laughs> he rejects the wicked and arrogant. So, many times the devil does things because he means it for evil, but God ends up allowing it to be because it's for good. Amen. Yes. Just like in the life of Joseph. Mm -hmm. And so it's interesting that it says, yes, neither shall evil dwell with thee, the foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Mm -hmm. See, now, hey, did, did we just read that over in Psalms 1? Yes, sir. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Now again, we know that workers of iniquity, that, that word iniquity is another word for sin, but it especially is equating people taking good things and twisting it. That's what iniquity is, perversion. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. Amen. 
So God's not going to put up with no foolishness and no falsehood. Amen? And so um, that's the God that we serve. He takes no pleasure in evil. He rejects the wicked and arrogant. He hates all wrongdoers. He destroys the liar. He ab abhors the deceitful. Jeremiah 48. What is it? Jeremiah 48.10? Or is it 48.8? i got to look it up. Oh, you know, every now and then you have a little hiccup, and that's mine. 48.10. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. So many ministers are doing things, and they deceive people. They tell half-truths and keep a big smile on their face, hoping you pick up on the wrong half. And it's so wicked. But they think it's totally justified. And it's wrong. And cursed be he that keepeth his uh, sword from blood. Keepeth his sword, keepeth back his sword from blood. Amen. So there's a curse on Christians that keep the lies of Christmas. Hey, there's one for you. <laughs> Santa Claus is coming, honey. Don't you want to get ready to go to bed? That's a lie straight out of hell. Well, what did God just say here? Call, call David a liar and God a liar, okay? I'm not going to call him a liar. You go ahead and keep playing your little games with your children. And then when you reap the reward in your children, you understand why. Amen? We know when Christ came into the world, and it wasn't December 25th. Unless you want to say when the angel told Mary. <laughs> Amen? Amen? I mean, we've got a Bible. We know how to read it. And this Jesus of the Bible, He came and did everything according to the Scripture. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's how we can know some things that maybe you don't know that's listening to us or watching us on a YouTube somewhere. But, man, if you really believe the book and know the book, yeah, the book's got it all in here. It tells us, I know when Jesus was born. Are you stupid that you don't know that? You know. Then what else? Number three, make a renewed commitment to be faithful in prayer and worship. Stay rock steady. Don't quit, quitter. Amen. Somebody was telling me about somebody watching and looking at child pornography. Well, why would they do that when it's a felony? Right. Why would they do something that one little phone call and the cops put you in jail? Yes, they do, You know, if I was a real Bible-believing Christian, I wouldn't want to commit a felony. Right. Yeah. But people say one thing out of one side of their mouth, and they'll say something else, something about the time, because there's deceit there. They're not being faithful to God in prayer or worship. Amen? Right. <laughs> you see, it's all around us. There's people being deceived and deceiving others and lying. And if you ain't careful, you can get caught up in it yourself. So... He says, but as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy. Amen? Yes, sir. And in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. 